My shirt's inside out. I didn't realize that until I was putting my phone up on the uh, dashboard. My shirt's inside out. I've worn it all day. <laughs> I've worn this shirt all day in public talking to people. And my shirt's inside out. And the collar was up. Cholera. I would rather have cholera than have my cholera up. Get it? I wouldn't. I'm sometimes unaware of these things. Uh, I don't know, it's, it, it, if it's a fucking shirt inside out, it isn't like the fabric, it isn't like sandpaper on one side, it's soft on the other. How am I supposed to know? I don't have very many mirrors in my apartment. You should get some, probably. It's Friday. TGIF. I think I'm gaining some weight. I think I'm getting fatter, too. I don't know, I can't tell. I, my body has this propensity to pack on mass. Uh, I guess I should buy one of those uh, pinchy things that measure body fat content so I can have a better idea of the composition of the weight that I'm gaining. It can't be all muscle. That's not possible, right? It's probably a combination of both, but I suppose as long as the percentage of fat compared to the percentage of muscle is lower than the current status, it isn't that bad playing the games, playing the edges, heading your bets. I don't know. I'm going to Ann Arbor. I gotta mail some shit. Every month, there's inevitably a few fuck-ups in the post office. And uh, I go in and take care of it myself. Look <laughs> how big my hand is. <laughs> Perspective. Let me uh, go to the driving range with some golf balls as hard as I can. I'm gonna hit some golf balls with uh, with no regard for structural integrity of the sphere, of the golf sphere, of the lake sphere. Oh man, and then this weekend, uh, been going golfing. I'm not gonna go on a road trip. I have too much work to do. I have, uh, I have to do some website shit. I, that always takes forever. I have to do some product development shit. I have to write dozens of emails. I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna change my diet too. I think I'm gonna gonna write it out. I've been eating too much junk food. I've been eating these s'mores, Oreos. I've been eating those bags of of, of, of frozen vegetables that are just uh, saturated with sodium. You don't want that. You don't want sodium in your diet. It gives you high blood pressure, and that's bad. You know, you'll die from that. You'll you'll fucking die. I don't want to die. I have no desire to die. I'm I, you know I enjoy life. I enjoy the, uh, I enjoy the, uh, uh, the, the, the facets of my everyday existence, tenets of my everyday existence. I should really, you know, plan my meals, right? I weigh, I weigh a lot. I weigh 270 pounds. I'm a big guy. And so my daily caloric intake is is likewise higher than the average caloric intake. So this might take, uh, you know, a, a, a marginal amount of research to establish how many calories uh, and, and what what breakdown of macronutrients should be ingested. I want to go protein heavy. It's hard to go protein heavy though and not do sodium heavy. You really got to buy the expensive stuff. That's really, I guess, the luxury of of you know being financially stable is you can buy foods that uh, are conducive towards your own health. Uh, and and not, not even just conducive, but um, but actively shepherd this, actively uh, guide your, your health. Legumes, chicken, organic, free range. I'm gonna catch the chickens myself. I'm going to buy a pack of chickens or a, whatever you call a, a conglomerate of chickens and hunt them down and strangle their necks and cut their heads off and prepare the meat. Commune with nature. Commune with poultry. <laughs> oh Christ, today's, today's been a long day. There are always long days. So uh, I was just hanging out at the warehouse today, doing some work, getting some work done. I got this bad boy in the mail from Nautica. Look at that fucking wash, it's beautiful. It's uh. Uh, NSR or something. 
tide comes. But the cool thing about this watch is that it's really heavy. And I like that. It weighs like five ounces. Some real heavy duty shit. Like the watch, the actual casing on this is like a centimeter and a half thick. It's huge. It's a real heavy duty watch. And I feel like so many watches that I try to wear, I've got big hands, right? I've got big wrists. So it looks just like absurd when I have some little tiny watch on my wrist. But this is a really cool watch. Uh, I asked them for the, their, their biggest watch. <laughs> and they mailed me this. So uh, shout out to Nautica for fucking giving me some sick uh, neon yellow watches. Thanks. Going to the fucking range. Hit some golf balls as hard as I fucking can. I love it. I'm so fucking hungry. Oh, I want to eat everything. I want to eat everything. I'm trying to be healthy. I'm bad at it. I'm not good at discipline. I'm good at doing things I want to do. You know, I want to lift weights, I want to make money, all that fucking shit. And so I'm good at doing things to excess. I'm not good at paring things down. I'm not detail oriented. If I want to eat, I'm very, very bad at not eating. And I, so I, you know, I gotta do meal prep. I gotta fucking buy nine thousand pounds of celery, so I can snack on that all day and shit my brains out. Probably. That's the life you gotta live. If you, if you're, you know, someone who wants to eat constantly, you probably are gonna have to be shitting your entire life. You know, all right? Because vegetables, that's what vegetables do. It's fibrous. I don't know how fiber works, to be honest. I have no clue how fiber works. I assume because your body doesn't digest it, it, you know, collects waste particulates, kind of like a let roller, but for your intestines. I don't know. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a nutritionist. I'm not a chef. I'm not a lot of things. Oh, I'm driving by restaurants and I smell them. <laughs> oh, give me some butter. Give me some fat. I love it. I gotta hit golf balls, calm down. Oh, fucking right. That was good. Topped out at 143. Not fucking bad. Um, I had a bunch over 142, so that was, that was fucking dope. Uh, I, I really wanna get to 150 by the end of the summer. So if I can keep doing a mile per hour per week, on my max, uh, and if I can like be consistently hitting, you know, two or three miles per hour beneath that max, if I can be doing like 145 on the reg, um, I'll be a fucking phenom. I mean, there's just no, there's, to, to, to be swinging those swing speeds consistently, just put you on a tier uh, way above <laughs> the majority of competitors. So we'll see, we'll see if I can get there. We'll see what I can do.